Hey guys, Mr. Tom Donald here, and welcome back to another video. Welcome to episode 5 of my HTML tutorial series, and in today's episode, I'm going to be teaching you all about uh, the marquee tag, which allows you to uh, make text or images move around the screen, scroll across the screen, bounce across the screen, uh, or slide into a certain position. Uh, so that's what we use the marquee tag for, and I'm going to be showing you how to use that uh, in HTML today. So let's get straight to it. So to use the marquee tag, we're going to open up the marquee tag. Uh, it's spelt like this, as you can see. So that's how you spell it, marquee tag. Now we've got different behaviors uh, of the marquee tag. So the marquee uh, tag has different behaviors. So we're going to do marquee behavior uh, and is going to equal whatever we want. So I'm going to show you, um, I think it's three different types I'm going to show you today. Uh, so the marquee behavior, we're going to start off with slide. So the marquee behavior slide is going to slide from one part of the screen to another part and stop where it is. So the behavior is slide and we want the direction. We're going to have it moving in from the right side of the screen moving into the left. So that's going in the direction left. So we're going to do direction equals quotation mark left quotation mark. Uh, and whatever we want to scroll across the screen, I'm going to be showing you how to do that with text or an image. Uh, so we're going to just have the words um, sloth and you're going to see why uh, I'm using that word uh, now. Uh, I'm just going to have the word sloth uh, sliding across the screen and then we're going to have to close the marquee tag so nothing else is scrolling afterwards. So we're going to go ahead, hit file save, go ahead and open up test and as you can see the word sloth is sliding from one side of the screen all the way to the other side uh, in a left fashion. Uh, we're going to just wait for this so I can show you how the slide stops when it gets to one side. So sloth will get to that side and stop and now it won't repeat. So it's just going to stay how it is. Now if we wanted an image to slide across it's very much the same. We're going to use the uh, Oh, sorry about that guys. Uh, if we wanted an image to slide across, we're going to use the IMG SRC tag, like we have to uh, insert an image. And we're going to use the image sloth.jpg. Now, we need to go grab that file. So I'm going to go ahead, jump into my pictures, find a picture of a sloth, bam, found the picture, jump straight back in put it in the same location so the uh, HTML can find it sloth.jpg and save that and BAM now we have a huge picture of a sloth sliding across our screen that's going to be very disturbing for viewers who have never been on the web page before but that doesn't matter because it's just a tutorial so now we have a huge picture of a sloth uh, sliding across our screen um, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you uh, the uh, so I've shown you how to make a text go a slide across the screen and an image slide across the screen. Now I'm going to move over to this direction part. So we can change direction. Uh, so we could change it to to be right. So if we save that and refresh, now it's going to slide along to the to uh, the right hand side of the screen. Or we could uh, make it go up. So it's going to come from the bottom of the screen and slide to the top, like so. Now, because these are in the way, it's going to go underneath. Um, and, of course, we can have it go down, but I'm not going to show you that. So we're just going to leave it going in the left direction. Now we're going to jump over to this part of the tag, the behavior. So I've shown you the first behavior, which is slide. Now I'm going to show you the behavior scroll. Now scroll is going to go across one side of the screen, but when it gets to the other side, it's going to um, disappear and go back again. So you could have multiple images or multiple text continuously scrolling across the screen as the viewer goes onto the web page. I'm going to show you that's the scroll. I'm going to leave the direction going to have file save and so now we have our picture of our sloth scrolling along the screen like so and we're just going to have to wait for this one again just to show you 
So as you can see now, as it gets to one side, it's not going to stop. It's going to carry on. It's going to dis slowly disappear. And then as soon as that makes its way through, we're going to have him side across again and make his way through. So as I said, we can have that on different um, different directions. We can have that going up if we want. It's going to do the same thing. It's going to go up through here, pass underneath this. So this loss is going to carry on, and when it gets through here, it's going to come back through and scroll like so. Now we're going to show you the uh, final, the final part, final behaviour. We're going to use bounce. Now bounce is going to get to one side and then bounce the other way. So it's behaviour bounce direction will send it back to the standard left side so file save so as we can see the sloth is going to make his way again all the way along the screen that really off-putting picture a disturbing picture of a sloth that looks like he's smiling at the moment he's going to make his way to one side and I'm sorry about that it seems to have scrolled um, seems to have carried on scrolling. I'm sure the tag is bounce. I may be wrong. This is the one tag I've never, I'm not used in HTML. So bounce, uh, you might have to look that up. But I'm originally it was. Um, I've used it before, but I actually no, I haven't used it before. I've only used scroll and slide. So scroll and slide still work. I'll have to look that up later, and I'll be able to tell you in the next episode scroll and slide still work but anyway that's how to use a marquee tag to make content move across the screen thanks for watching this uh, episode guys please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't seen the latest episode or the start of the series and all the way through go and watch that now thanks for watching please rate, comment, subscribe again goodbye